Tomorrow, Congressman Tim Murphy will no longer represent much of suburban Pittsburgh in D.C. Murphy announced his resignation after a report claimed that he pressured his mistress into getting an abortion when she thought she was pregnant. Paul Martino joins us more now, uh, live now with more on Murphy's final day in office. Paul. District office has been in this building in Mount Lebanon ever since he was elected to the Pennsylvania Senate in 1996. Eight years later, it became a congressional office, but the social conservative's name has been removed from the building. The office is up for rent. Many of his constituents say he had to go. For the little things that we're hearing he's done, it's probably a good thing, but I think that we should probably find somebody that could do a job just as well as he did. Because this was an abrupt uh, exodus in under unusual circumstances. The 65-year-old Murphy will lose his $174,000 a year salary, but he'll get his pension from Congress, an estimated $49,000 a year, and he gets another pension from the Pennsylvania Senate, $8,700 a year. In the meantime, folks in the South Hills don't have a representative in Washington. Although Murphy's staff is job. Disgrace is disgrace. You know, a guy of his uh, professionalism shouldn't even resort to the kind of garbage that he did. He just can't go along with, with what he did. I'm fine with that. How come? Tell me why. I don't care for Mr. Murphy's policies. And again, uh, I talked to a member of his staff today. They say they are going to maintain a presence in Mount Lebanon, take calls answer uh, constituents problems there. Governor Wolf has 10 days now to call a special election. The special election can't be held for 60 days and will probably early next year is when that thing will go down. Whoever wins the special election will for less than a year. They'll have to run for re-election in November of 2018. Reporting live, Paul Martino, KDKA TV News.